Hello, this short video is about working with old custom screens in the new user interface. So let's take a look. What we see here is the old uh, user interface. And when you have an old custom page, many of them will not be visible on the new, uh, new interface until we do a process to complete that move. So let's take a look at a custom page I made. So if I pull up a student, and I'm going to look for a custom page that is a student page called student bicycle information. So I pull up the student, click the link, and that page would appear with where from information that can be edited or changed. When we go to the new interface, you may notice that that link isn't over here. And if I go searching in these links, I may not see it. So what to do if you have that situation? The first step is you'll create a ticket with Nebraska Power School, and you're gonna tell us the name of the page, any information about the page that you can remember that will help, and also even more importantly, is where did you click to get to, to that page? So in this case, I would say I clicked on a student and it was under the information section towards the bottom. And that's what you would send the ticket. So when we receive the ticket, we will find your old page and then get it available to you so you can use it in the new interface. Now, um, we will ask you where you would like to have it located in one of these menu items, but we, you also can choose to um, or decide where that location should be yourself. So to do that, we're going to send you back the link to the new page. And that'll make sense here more in a minute. You're going to go to System Management, and we're going to go to Custom Links. All right. Now, in custom links, what I'd like to do with this page first is to collapse all the main um, menu categories. So you can click collapse all over here on the right. And let's just circle a few things. So the collapse all will be over here on the right. And when I uh, do that, it's going to collapse all these main categories. Now, we're in a student um, page, so we're going to go under the student pages and decide where we want that. Now, we can put this anywhere you wanted to, but let's just say, um, let's put it under more. So we have a student custom screens. That would make sense to put it in there. Or we could have different things in here, but let's put it under student custom screens. So I'm gonna click this arrow here and what I'm clicking is right here, right on this little arrow. And so I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to add that my bicycle page underneath here. So I'm going to click on the three dots and click link, add link to custom or student custom screens, because that's the name of the main header. Okay. We can put student bicycle information. And this URL, that's the part that we are going to send to you. And it's basically everything after the 
your URL. So in this case, it's going to be slash admin slash student slash student bicycles.html. It's basically everything that's after the main part of your URL. So, it's, so that's where that comes from. So let's get rid of that circle there. So I'm going to add that. And then do we want to add open in a new tab? And I'd say in most cases, that's a good idea. Um, and this is a selection required for page views. So yes, a student needs to be selected before that's used. Um, you can make it available to district only or school and district, but for student pages, um, always use school and district. And now this is where you can change the location. So we're going to click place link after, and we'll put after date of file version and click add page. So when we do that, it'll take a minute here, then you'll see student bicycle information listed under this link. So if I went back to the home page of PowerSchool, and I go and I select a student, and go find a student, And then I can go to underneath on the left and I can go find more. And then student bicycle information. If I click on that, notice it opened it up in a new tab. And then I have the student bicycle page. So let's say we added that link there, but you you would like to move it somewhere else. Okay, so the, that's pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do is go back to the beginning page of PowerSchool. And I'm going to go back to System Management and Custom Links. Now, let's say um, I want this student link that link for my bicycle page doesn't really work where I have it. So again, I'm going to click collapse all. And so kind of, so I can see things a little easier. We know that page is underneath my student custom screens. All right. All right. And so we can click on this. We can re-edit or remove it. So if I click edit, we can click on the title, and then we can click, of course, which link that where you want to locate it. Okay, so we can change the location within the, the link. If you wanted to use the link somewhere else, so I want to copy my URL. I'm going to hit cancel. And then I'm going to, let's go up here in student profile and let's go into more on this. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to add link to more. I'm going to add this student bicycle info. Um, this time we'll, we'll just won't you have it open in a new tab. We'll just leave it like it is, but it still needs a district or excuse me, a student selected. We'll leave it in school and district and we'll place the link after transportation. Okay. Then we'll click add page. But you notice that already add the link already exists. Okay. So what we do is we can just we'll have to discard changes 
Now we have to come back here and then we will have to remove the student bicycle information. And it'll give you a confirmation that's been removed. Now you can come here, add link to more. We can do icicle info. We put our URL. We need a student selection, school and district. We'll place the link after transportation. Click add page. And now we have it here. So we come back to our start page of PowerSchool. Select a student. And now if I click on student profile, under more, I have bicycle info. Now again, when you are missing an old custom page, um, you can ask us to do all of that work for you. But with as easy as it is to move a custom page link to another location, that will be something that um, if you want to do yourself, you can do that. Of course, you can contact us at any time and, and we will be glad to assist you. So that is how you uh, work with and find old custom pages in the new UI. Hope you find this video helpful.